Good afternoon, I'm Doug Devins, and I'm here to talk to you about Aurora Concussion Therapy Systems, where we're trying to help the brain heal itself faster. There are, over two, are nearly two million concussions every year, and it's estimated that there are another two million that don't ever present to the emergency department and aren't diagnosed. And the treatment for concussions hasn't changed since my wife had one about 25 years ago. She was sitting in a dark room, she couldn't move, for weeks because she felt so ill. And all of those costs add up to about $11 billion in extra medical expenses every year between lost productivity and extra medical expenses. So what is a concussion? A con the pathophysiology of a concussion essentially starts with happy nerve cells with little energizer bunnies in them. You shake your head and what happens is that all of a sudden the, the cells stop producing energy because of a neurometabolic uh, imbalances that are happening from leaky cell membranes. What happens then though is that if you bring in near infrared, infrared light, you're able to restore the aerobic metabolism of the cells. The cel cells are able to start producing energy and get back to where they are able to heal themselves. This has been shown in mice repeatedly in sham controlled trials. It's been a profound effect in the words of one physician I spoke to. We are taking this therapy and scaling it to humans. We're making it so that we're accounting for the changes in anatomy, the cranial thickness across the, the head. To date, the trials in humans have been with the same energy that's been used in the, in the mice. And we believe that what we will sell is an actual device that we would place in clinics. So why are the team? Why are we the team? We are the team that has the expertise in medical device product development. We're working with a neurologist with expertise in um, sleep medicine where he has a lot of TBI patients. And we have a number of activities that we've already completed, an FDA visit, and we're working on an animal study protocol right now. Thank you. You stated that they would have to wear the helmet in the clinical setting. Yes. How often would they have to come in for treatment and for how long would they have to wear this? The treatment regime uh, that's been used to date uh, in studies, case series, was six weeks, three times a week. 80 to 90 percent of all neurology patients go on to physical therapy. So we see this fitting very easily into physical therapy regime that concussion patients often go to. Doug. <clears throat> Explain a little bit about the IP that you have around this. The IP is not around the method. That is actually, this has been used before for a stroke therapy. Uh, that therapy actually failed for the same reason we think that we're better because we're giving enough energy. But what we've filed on is the actual article. The article that actually compensates for the fact that your temporal bone is so much thinner than, say, your, the crown of your head, where you lose about 75% more energy as you're sending it through to the brain. So really what our IP is around is getting a uniform energy to the, to the actual cortex of the brain, the part that actually needs the energy. If you dump it into the skull, you don't gain anything. And with the treatment regime that you talked about earlier, how much acceleration would you see in healing time? Um, as you saw on the first slide, we estimate that we can save approximately 50%. The mice studies have been 50% faster healing uh, based on functional measures like, say, um, the ability to walk a straight line or the ability to hang on to a wire. Again, this is mice. Um, so to date, the case series have been on chronic TBI patients, patients whose symptoms essentially never went away. And it actually made them better, but it wasn't in controlled settings, and some of the results were uneven. The FDA, as I said, we had an FDA visit. They're excited because it goes back to there don't, there are, the therapies haven't changed since my wife's concussion. Sorry, you were going to ask something. I was just going to ask a little bit more about the FDA process and where you're at and what's next steps. We had an initial pre-submission meeting back at the beginning of April. Um, it was amazing. They were giving us hints on what they wanted to see in their breakthrough th in our breakthrough therapy pre-submission that we'll be submitting in May. They were giving us hints on what our sham controls ought to be for a trial and things that we ought to consider in the design. I, you know, I've worked in medical device product development. They've never been that nice. Ever. <laughs> so they were very nice. I was amazed. Well, great. Thank you very much. Thank you.